hidden effects chain shortcuts in Reaper. Let's have a look. What I'll be showing you is effects chain shortcuts that cannot be changed. They're set up by default. You got to get used to them um, because if you do use them, you'll save a lot of time and energy, save a lot of mouse clicking. So this is Reaper's effects chain window, and you know this already, I'm sure. Um, but if you just hit Command S to save, it's going to save the effects chain. You probably ran into this trying to save your project while this uh, window had focus, and so um, you know this this uh, finder window pops up, uh, or Explorer if you're on Windows. So that was Command S on Mac or uh, Control S on Windows to save an effects chain. And so that's going to save all of these effects as a single effects chain that you can later import. You know, you probably run into it more when you don't need it, but um, saving effects chains is always a good thing to do. The next one is F2. So on the Mac, you might have to press the function key, uh, but that will bring us to the rename effects instance uh, dialog. Uh, I kind of wish that you, that you could customize that, you know, put that on command R or something like that uh, to be a little more ergonomic. I don't like F2, uh, especially when you have to hold down the function key. But uh, this is a really helpful thing if you have a long, complex uh, effects chain and you have multiple instances of the same plugins that are doing different functions. So I can call this um, general EQ, and I can select this other one and call it uh, filter, something like that. Really simple, and it's much easier to do that than to right click, and then there it is. The next one cannot be simpler. It's up and down arrows. It will cycle through all of the plugins uh, that are loaded into this effects chain. Um, and depending on your settings, it will resize automatically. You can also hold down shift and select multiple plugins, and then whatever actions you do next will apply to all of those. So if you click on remove, that will uh, remove them all. If you press command C, it will copy them. If you press command V, it will paste them all. Press delete, it will delete all of those that were selected. The next action is Command B on Mac or Control B on Windows, and that will bypass the selected effect. And so you can see that here or over here on the left. Uh, it just bypasses that plugin, so it's not um, is not processing the audio. When you combine that with two plugins selected or more than two plugins selected, you can toggle between A and B states. So I'm going to do that with these two sets of plugins. There's two EQs and then two um, widening plugins. And it's going to play on the synth. And I'm going to press Command B, or it would be Control P on Windows. And you'll hear the two different effects chain settings that I have. And so that's toggling the bypass buttons on four different plugins simultaneously with one key press. And when you're not sure about different EQ settings or different compressor settings, um, or if you have multiple filters that need to work with other plugins, all those sorts of weird situations where there's more than one thing you need to A, B at the same time, that makes it really simple to do. Another quick one, Command A or Control A on Windows will select all the plugins in the effects chain, which you can then delete or um, copy to somewhere else. Um, and the last one I'll show you is just escape. S escape closes the plugin window. And that's it. Those are all the ones that I know of. Um, I would love if there was a duplicate button. Um, I mean, Command C and Command V, not that difficult. I'm always pressing Command D to duplicate because I use that everywhere else in Reaper. Um, but it doesn't happen there. So yeah, if there's any more that I missed, please let me know in the comments. Hope you found this useful. Hope this will speed up your workflow in some tiny way uh, that makes it all worth watching this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.